I'm Elizabeth Zaff, registered nurse here at Shady Grove Fertility Center. Hi, I'm Karen Calabrese, clinical educator at Shady Grove Fertility. As a former fertility patient, I know and I understand that the two-week wait is a very stressful period. During my two-week wait, I wondered if I was pregnant, what am I going to do if I'm not pregnant, what am I going to do if I am pregnant, and certainly what my body was telling me. Elizabeth and I are here today to discuss some of the items and some of the frequently asked questions during that period. During that time, um, we really encourage patients to surround yourself with a really supportive environment, um, making sure that you are you know, having positive feedback uh, during that really stressful time period. We actually have 8,000 followers and fans on our Shady Grove Facebook page. It's a wonderful resource uh, to utilize and we really encourage our patients to you know, please get involved in that. It's a wonderful support system. That is, that sense of community, that sense of someone else knows how I'm feeling. What are some of the clinical questions that people ask you during this two-week wait? Or some of, what are the common questions? I think there are probably four, sort of four common ones that we usually get sort of centered around um, activity, um, diet, medication, and the most common probably being the home pregnancy tests. I think uh, with exercise, it's just best to uh, do a moderate amount of exercise mm -hmm. during that two-week wait. Also with diet, you know, typically just eating a well-balanced diet is, is appropriate. Lots of, you know, fr fruits and vegetables and those types of good things. Right. <laughs> eating and drinking as if you are pregnant. Um, another one that we get is the medications. Definitely stay on your medications um, as your doctor or nurse prescribes and recommends. The home pregnancy test, that is, um, that's a hard one for patients mm -hmm. because they really want to know. Mm -hmm. But we do recommend that you wait for that, the blood test, to make sure that we have an accurate pregnancy test. And then your nurse or doctor will give you the instructions as to, you know, continuing the medications or whether or not you would need to stop them. So I think we talked a little bit about some of the common questions, uh, Karen, but what if you have more detailed questions? Well, you'll find listed below some of the detailed answers to the commonly asked questions that we get. We've received a lot of questions from our online community, and we've outlined the detailed answers below. So we hope that the fact sheet that we provided you is going to be able to answer some of those questions that you might have, um, and we hope that you know we wish you all the best with these next two weeks. I know it can be stressful, but um, you have a good support system. The clinical staff at Shady Grove is always available and willing to answer any questions. Best of luck to you.